Hello and welcome to Endless Mode. I'm Captain Emoji. And I'm Mysterious Gamer X. Ooh, text! Prologue. Step into the shadows of the Hell House. You've arrived back here at Transylvania on business. Destroy forever the curse of the evil Count Dracula. And this is Castlevania II, Simon's Quest. I just noticed that it's, uh... It's a movie reel. Oh, that's yeah. what was That's what was scrolling there, was a, a movie reel. I don't know why they decided to actually have the movie reel at, like, a, a realistic frame rate, so it was kind of hard to do the out loud reading. But, yeah, man. yeah. Hey, stop. Whoa, hey, can I talk to you? Yes. As okay. A, what I remember is that there's lots of talking to people. Um, so first I have to buy a white pistol. All right. Oh, no. There are so many people to talk to. <laughs> Oh, did this turn into an RPG? Okay, so I don't walk upstairs the same way. Oh, really? So that's gonna be funny. I have to press the jump button on this one. Oh. Oh, good. Health refill. Perfect. Uh, I think it also advances the time, which I think is important. Time? Uh, there's a day and night cycle, I think, uh, if I remember correctly. And at night, it's all ghosts and goblins. Everyone boards up their houses and... No one huh. ventures outside. <laughs> okay. Yeah, no, it's it's Transylvania. The land is cursed, and you have to kill... Uh... a thorn whip? Yes. No. You don't have any money. Oh. <laughs> All right, fine. I'm curious what a thorn whip is. I mean, I guess it has thorns or barbs in it. Yeah, that's basically it. Clues to Dracula's Riddle are in the town of Veros. The town of my map. I, I don't remember. I'm sorry. <laughs> but yeah, no, um, so this one in, this one kind of went, uh, Zelda 2 Adventures of Link on you. Lots mm. of talking to people and gathering equipment. Uh, okay. Lots of backtracking, usually. At least that's I, what I, I remember. Crystal. Yes. Yeah, I guess you had enough money for that. <laughs> I did. What do I do with a white crystal? I don't know, but someone said that was the first thing you had to do, so... Okay, well, I got one now. Want to buy holy water? Yes. Okay, can't do that. But, uh... Yeah, lots of backtracking. Uh, I seem to remember that there's something really important in this first town that most people miss, and you end up having to come back here. Oh. That's it could good. be something as simple as buying that white crystal for a while. But, uh, I just... I don't remember anymore. All right, uh, well. I didn't actually play this one, I watched my friend play it. Gotcha. Uh, well, let's get out of town and see if we can earn some money. Uh-oh. Oh yeah, that's the, that's the transition text. It's nighttime now. Have fun. Oh no, the music changed. It did, and there's oh, no. ghosts about. Time to get out of town. There's monsters. Oh, there's monsters out here, too. Oh, God, they're strong and the shoot fire. Oh, that's because it's nighttime. Everything gets stronger at night. Well, why am I out here? Because you're Simon, uh, you're Simon Belmont Vampire Hunter. That's a terrible plan. You have to protect the town people. What if they start breaking down the doors? Uh, you know, all the shops are closed. I know it doesn't right. have a, change, a different sprite, but like you, you just have to do this until it becomes daytime again. Well, that's annoying. But, uh... I mean, this is how you get money. I suppose. Except I'm not... Oh, yeah, I'm getting a little money. Gotta beat up the monsters. Uh, it does have some good, uh... Good music, like the last one. I think this is the direction to go to start your quest. Uh, you'll notice they're not quite as bad as the lizard men. Yeah. But yeah, no, that's everything not is as... a little stronger at night. Notice that. I want to backtrack that thorn whip if I ever get a hundred. Stop <laughs> hopping! Twelve or sixteen. Or I don't know which one's money or not. E? The, I'm... Maybe? The UI leaves a bit to be desired. I'm sure they were running out of space then. Well, that is a very ambitious game. Yeah! Yeah, no, I, I definitely get the, uh, the impression that the 
the folks at Konami care uh, when making this game. Once upon a time. Yeah. <laughs> At an earlier time. <laughs> no, they were they were aces back in the day. They were like one of Nintendo's like most uh, trusted uh, like licensees. Um, you can't dodge a fireball. <laughs> they what the? Uh, they actually were looking at get so. Nintendo put a, a cap on how many games you could publish in a year. I think it was like five. Uh, to try and keep companies from, like, flooding the market with, like, crappy Wii skins and... Well, that's one thing that didn't change from the previous game. Okay. Oh, but no, now, that's good. Start me off with these guys. Oh, yeah, no, this is, this is fine. This is good game design. They didn't knock you in the water. They bounced back and forth like a, like a beach ball. But you're still alive. Yeah, that's the thing I am. But no, like, uh, they were doing so well at one point, uh, Nintendo was like, giving them a second license. Ah. Uh, which is something that they were never gonna do for anyone ever, but, like, everything that this company made was just doing real good. Uh, I guess the way that they worked around it so that they didn't show favoritism, but at the same time kind of gave implicit, like, favoritism. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Um, oh, but this water doesn't kill you, it just hurts you. Yeah, I mean... And there's nothing over shallow. here. Yeah, I don't... I don't know what the point of that was, I'm sorry. The morning has vanquished shed the horrible night. <laughs> now, don't blame me, that was the text box. No, I know. It's just funny. Yeah, see, you one-shot him now. Oh, uh, yeah. But, uh, they ended up letting them basically form, like, a, a second company, like a subsidiary, and hmm. the subsidiary counted as a second company and got to make more games, so that they could do more than, uh, the normal five a year. So, I mean, if Nintendo, who was real stodgy with those licenses, was willing to give you a second one, you've got to figure they were, they were doing pretty good That's back true. then. That's true. That's true. Ow! Ow! I want to know what it is. Like, I mean, it's got a weird color to it, so I, I, clearly it's not just water. It's, it's not like you have aquaphobia or something. Okay. Because that's water. <laughs> uh, so it's got to be some kind of acid or miasma. They shoot at angles. Why? Why do they do that? Oh. Mm. oh this is a perfectly acceptable <laughs> place to start somebody. Leave. At least they do leave. Yeah. You did good. You outlasted him. You even dodged that fireball. Yeah. Hey, it's a place. It's in this place. Uh, it looks like oh, this is a dungeon -y place. First dungeon. Yeah. Okay, so I've got a white crystal selected. I have no idea why. <laughs> You know, this one's a lot less castle-shaped than the dungeons in the first game. Yeah, yeah. Okay, alright, seriously, what? I think you have to leap to the left of that single block. Okay. And then leap up to the next one. Uh, so left, then right. And then up to that one, further right. Yeah, that one. And then you have to defeat that guy before he knocks you into the water. Oh yeah, no, this is great. He only outranges you with that pike a little bit. I'm sorry. So, how many pixel perfect jumps are in this game? Uh, or, does, or is there an item that boosts my jump size? <laughs> I don't know, but uh, I think there may be a reason that people didn't like number two as much as number one. Hmm, getting that. That's starting to make more sense. And the spikes. <laughs> up or down? Probably down, I usually don't want to go into the base. Ah, it's got a Satan. It's like some kind of gargoyle. Down was bad. We don't do that. <laughs> it oh, starts no, you great. down. Great. You made it to that checkpoint, I guess. Oh my god. Now you're in hell, I guess. 
gives you two fireballs. What? No! Was there a false floor? Ah! Or did you jump down? I clearly didn't jump down. Well, there might be a way to jump down. I don't know. No, no, I, I did remember. not jump down. Oh, that's a fake oh. block. Oh. That what was the a Kaizo shit is this. That was a trap. What the, what the Kaizo? That's good. You know, he'd probably be proud of the fact that you used his name as a an epithet. I'm just saying, like. Oh no! Yeah, let's fight. Let's fight infinite Satan on the edge of water. That's good. <laughs> infinite Satan. <laughs> if nothing else, that might be the name of the episode: is Infinite Satan. God. Also, oh, a, this is good spot. That is good a, placement. That is a good metal band name. I want to say, <laughs> Infinite Satan. Nerdcore metal band. Hello, and we're Infinite Satan. Here to play you the single off of our new album, Bloodpocalypse. Oh, and here I was thinking the game was a dead end and completely believing it. <laughs> well, I mean, <laughs> you haven't proved that it's not a dead end. <laughs> That's true. I was gonna say, we don't know what's the... I think it's still a dead end. Are you serious? <laughs> The double fake out. Are you absolutely serious? <laughs> oh, no, this is good. That's exactly what you wanted this to spawn, right? Hey, hey at least the little slime things died in that, too. I just... Why? Why is? What's that thing T-Symex says? It's hard, but it's fair. Yeah, that's what's going on here. It's the Dark Souls of Castlevania games. <laughs> I like that we're now applying Dark Souls to things that existed before Dark Souls. <laughs> what a time to be alive! Now we're back, back into the realm of the infinite Satan. Souffles are the Dark Souls of baking. They really are. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Do something, you stupid crystal! I bought you. Street man is the is the Dark Souls. Uh, All right, I'm done. <laughs> That's it. And Just on that, no. And on that note, I think we are done for today. Uh, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you want to see more of this. I'll you try, won't. I'll try and convince Mysterious K Rex to sit down and do more of this if you like it. <sighs> Catch you later.